Hey guys, I'm Getsu134 here, and I still haven't gotten to Garo Beast of the Midnight Sun, like I had been hoping to. Um, just a quick bit of an update. I had actually took a week off after I did the three days of Garo. Okay, it's probably more than a week, but like, I took that week off, like the week after that one off. Um, that's usually a time when me and my family are doing some last minute things for the summer. Um, and I kind of, after spending like... Uh, I want to say, like, April, May, spending five months doing the first season of Garo, I thought I'd take just a little teeny break off. Um, then I, I tried watching uh, where, I, where I normally watch uh, Garo, and the video was just loading terribly. It was loading, like, every, like, after, like, every 20 seconds, it felt like I, I'd barely gone through, like, maybe... 20 minutes of the movie and I just I just had to I, I couldn't keep doing it because it was just taking forever um I'm gonna try and watch it tonight I don't like to post two videos at once so I'm gonna try I'm gonna do it tomorrow after I watch it tonight I um or at least try to watch it tonight if not I remember it pretty well that I, so I should be able to uh to do it from memory I don't like doing it like that but if the video is going to be terrible it's gonna or the uh, i'm trying to watch i you know i don't really have much choice on this and i don't remember it very well i'm probably not gonna try that if, if nothing else i will try to find somewhere else to watch it or at least most of it um but until then i shall hopefully entertain you guys by re reviewing batman and harley quinn um i picked this up when it came out the 29th um, I know it, it's been out, it, uh, it first, uh, had a, like a limited screening on the 15th. I actually, which I hate admitting, I thought that meant that this was out on DVD then, not that it was just, um, on limited screening, but, um, and I also wanted to take a couple days to digest this, to, uh, get my thoughts out of the way. Um, so yeah, Batman and Harley Quinn, um... Uh, Made mostly by Bruce Tim and his his group that makes all the DC animated movies, um, is in some ways kind of a a, a homage to Batman the Animated Series, particularly since a Harley Quinn looks like she does in the animated series. Batman is voiced by Kevin Conroy. The original uh, original Nightwing from the animated series is do it, portraying Nightwing once again. Uh, Poison Ivy looks like she does in the season four of Batman the Animated Series. Um, and everything else is very much... There's a lot of design work from it. Uh, the Batmobile, the Batplane that's in here are the designs from Batman the Animated Series. There's a scene where we go into a dive bar full of henchmen, and most of the henchmen, if not all of them, are all henchmen used by the villains in Batman the Animated Series. Um... The most prevalent is the twins that Two-Face often used in Batman the Animated Series. Those are the ones that I remember the most. Um, and I think Rhino from the Ventriloquists gang is especially in this one. Don't don't quote me on the last one. I thought he was Rhino. He, he's one of the few that has a speaking role in, in that scene. Um, and the plot is basically Jason Woodrew and uh, Poison Ivy break into Star Lab and steal... Uh, the notes on the chemicals that were used to uh, turn Alec Holland into the Swamp Thing. And they want to use it to create a virus that will turn every human being into a plant-human hybrid. Plant well, actually, every every creature into a plant-creature plant, uh, plant hybrid. Yeah, that's right. I, I'd forgotten that, that, uh, that it was actually not just... like They wanted to turn everyone... Uh, in order to save the world from our current, you know, environmental problems. However, Batman realizes that if even even one one thing is wrong with his plan, it could end up causing the extinction of every living thing on the on the planet. Um and realizing that they have no leads on Ivy, Batman and uh Nightwing t uh decide to go look for Harley Quinn in the hopes that she can give him give them information. However, Harley's gone straight, and the only way she will help them is if she gets to come along. 
and hijinks ensue. So, I'm going to be up front. There's things I like about this movie, but overall, I have a lot of problems with it. I have a lot of problems with it. Um, I know there's a lot of controversy around it, particularly the scene where Harley has Nightwing tied up in the bed and, like, says she won't give him any <clears throat> sort of uh, info unless she sleeps with him. Um, and I'll get to that scene. I'll probably talk about that first thing. I'll probably talk about that when we when I talk about some of the, the issues I have with this film. I don't have the issues that I know some some folks online had with it. Um, you know, especially because like I, I like it was pretty in character with Nightwing that like I he could he could have gotten out of that. She had him tied up with tape. She could he could have broken out of that any time. And you know he. He has a soft spot, soft spot for women and will sleep with anything with legs. Trust me, I've read Nightwing's <laughs> original solo runs back from the 90s. Yeah, it's a thing. Um, but there's some... Whenever there was, like, action or, like, the plot was moving and it was... And, uh... And the characters were being the character because they they do act like they are like they do they should um, with Batman in in a few places, but I think that was kind of um, on purpose because I feel like the story is really being all told through Harley Quinn because once Harley Quinn shows up things get really weird. Um, but anyway, um, but yeah, there for all it's good, there is a lot of problems. This movie's really, really juvenile. Like, there's all sorts of sex jokes and, like, 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 f fraternity bro humor that I just don't care for. And a lot of the sexuality is just, uh, Harley Quinn is sexy. That's. You know that's what we've been we've been do, we've been saying since like Batman Assault on Arkham when we had her walk around topless. But and I, and I like and I, I, I don't know someone's gonna be like oh you're just you just don't like you're just a prude I'm I'm not a prude trust me I loved Batman Assault, Assault on Arkham and that scene where where I where Harley is just in orange jumpsuit pants and nothing else that's a good scene. That's a spicy, spicy scene. Uh, but this movie was just... It, it just got uh, kind of to a point where I was just like... Eh, I'm, I'm kind of numb to it. It probably has a lot to do with just the the over-sexualification of Harley over the year, Like, over the years. Like, I know... And I know Harley's always been a sexy character. I'm not... But I, I mean more like the, the outfits they've had her in over the last couple of years... Like, that scene where she's just in her bra and underwear, and, like, she bends over and her butt shows through the underwear really well, and Nightwing's trying not to look. And people had complaints about that because of... Like, that that bothers me about as much anymore after the fact that we we don't... We, we, we were all praising her for wearing uh, mostly just go-go boots... Bicycle shorts and a uh, barely a top that barely keeps her breasts in in Suicide Squad. So I don't really understand why people were all upset about it. I also realized that I really shouldn't have done this right after I woke up because now my thoughts are all over the place. <laughs> um, you know, I think people enjoy my blogs more when I just ramble. Um, but you know, like. It's a like it's a thing, and I, I I'm I was more happy that Harley got to wear her original outfit <laughs> instead of those awful outfits she's been wearing ever since she joined the Suicide Squad back in the, new, the beginning of the New Fifty Two. Um, and you know I know also people took took problems with the superhero equivalent of of a Hooters bar where all the women are dressed up like superheroines, and. They're very sk scantily clad superheroines. I think the only one that looked the the most normal was Power Girl, <laughs> because obviously. Um. 
But, you know, it was what it was. Um, uh, you know, that stuff really didn't bother me nearly as much as, say, Harley trying to get them to stop at a rest at a bathroom and constantly farts that that I could have done without like it was that kind of humor it was not very not very good um the other problem is it just ends like the movie like gets to this big climax and instead of giving us the climax it's just it just ends and instead, we get, like, one final scene about it at the end. And this really long, overly drawn-out, kind of stupid gag where Harley is kind of on a TV show now and is basically Dr. Phil. I didn't particularly care for it, especially because they made a Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman joke, and I'm like, who remembers Do Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman? I barely do. That's mostly because my parents will still watch it at night. Unlike the old people TV network. Um, but otherwise, it, it had stuff I liked. I thought Harley was really funny. Uh, the Floronic Man and Ivy go into a lot of uh, lore about the swamp thing. Like, there's a scene where, like... Uh, Floronic Man gets them to the, the swamp that uh, Swamp Thing was born in because they need the water to finish their, their experiment. And uh, Batman and uh, the government, because he's working for... He's working with Argus. Like, they bring up Sarge Steel, a character that I barely know. And I, I, was, I was kind of impressed with the fact that they used him and Argus. Uh, but anyway... They lock down everything. The airports, the, the trains, uh, you know, taxis. And in order to get to Louisiana, uh, Swamp Thing uses one of these these magic yams he stole from Swamp Thing's body, which I think is from the Alan Moore run of Swamp Thing. I've really only read bits of Alan Moore's Swamp Thing. But I do think that's a thing that he did. And they each eat the yam so that they can uh, uh, further tie themselves to the green and use Swamp Thing's way of travel um, by by f merging with uh, trees and stuff and traveling through their roots and stuff to reach uh, the swamp and the parliament of the trees. So, you know, like, Bruce Tam uses a lot of the lore from the comics and stuff that I, I don't think we would ever have seen regularly in the Batman the Animated TV show. I mean, I, I certainly don't think they would have been able to use Swamp Thing like this. Um, but, you know, for every good thing, it's it's bolted down by the fact that a lot of it just wants Harley Quinn to be silly and goofy to the point of, I don't, like, she kind of makes things worse. Um, until, like, the very end when she actually gets to have a, Pretty okay fight with Hart with uh, Ivy, and I'm really and it ends really good too. I like the I like her fight with Hart, with Ivy, but like once you get to the climax, they barely do anything with a lot of it. Like they barely resolve Harley's subplot of feeling like she's you know worthless, you know like that no one needs her. You know that getting out of Arkham, she, her life is is in shambles. You know because her psych. Her, psych her psychiatry stuff means nothing, you know, after you've, you yourself have been thrown into the, the very same asylum you were working in and, you know, we're, we're the girlfriend of the Joker. Although I do like that they've gotten, that she's over the Joker. I actually like, that's one of the few things I've liked about the New 52 is that they've made it that Harley's her own person, which, uh, which is nice. But again, it really doesn't go anywhere. Like, there, there's some nice moments between her and Nightwing, you know, seeing as how they made out. <laughs> they, imply that they they only made, made out with each other and that there was no sex, but uh, I don't think so. I'm certainly with Batman on that one. Um, but, you know, it really goes nowhere, and much like Batman uh, Justice League Dark, which I've reviewed on this channel, they have Swamp Thing in it, and he 
does nothing. He shows up. He yells at Jason Woodrow. And then he just goes back to sleep. He was sleeping this whole time in that swamp. And then goes back to sleep after he just says, Oh, you've been bad, Woodrow. You, 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 you could have destroyed the green. But I'm not going to stop you. I'm just going to go back to sleep. Bye, Batman. I really don't understand what Bruce Tim's obsession is with having Swamp Thing, have him be kind of cool, and then do nothing. Nothing! <sighs> and I know, it's mostly a Batman Harley Quinn movie, but why invoke Swamp Thing if you're not going to do anything with him? God. Um... Yeah, and speaking of Batman, I really don't know why this is called Batman and Harley Quinn. Like, Batman's kind of non-important. <laughs> like, he he barely has any lines, which I'm like, that's such a waste of, waste of Kevin Conroy. I assume it's because they, want, they need him for uh, maybe uh, Gotham by Gaslight, maybe? I don't know. I'm looking at the box. I can't remember. What was the next film? I assume it's for that. Or that he was too busy doing, I think, Justice League action. That Justice League cartoon they made. I don't know. But when he does get to speak, a lot of it's just really dumb gags. Like, Harley complains about being bit up by bugs in the swamp when Batman and Nightwing aren't. And she's mad that he doesn't have any bug spray. And he thinks she's upset because she doesn't have enough vitamin B. Which I'm like, is that is that like a sex joke? Are you saying she needs some vitamin Batman, Batman? I don't think so. As most of this movie, you were you were completely ignorant, like not caring whether or not she came with you or not, other after she gave you the information. And you had like this whole diatribe about how you can't trust her. And then you simply had her come along after she started doing the waterworks, which I enjoyed, but I, it is kind of out of character for Batman. <laughs> but, you know, I, I didn't, you know, Batman's not such a uncaring jerk, but I, I, I feel like he wouldn't really be that moved by Harley crying, but ra rather her being openly honest about not wa wanting to help Ivy. Um, But... Like, other than that, like, he's just kind of there. He barely talks for most of this movie. Um, there was a really great scene where, like, all the bad guys, like, surround him at the bar. And one of them had bought him milk because they didn't think he drank. Which was kind of, kind of amazing. And then he drinks the milk and proceeds to beat them all up. Which they don't show. Like, I was waiting. I was like, oh, we're going to get a really awesome action scene. Doesn't show. and said cuts to the outside of the bar and we just hear the fight. Wow, really stupid uh, Batman Batman 66. Um, like, you know, Pam, Biff, Pal things show up. Although one of them did did show up and went, ow, my balls, which I will admit, I'm it was juvenile, but I thought it was kind of funny just because I didn't expect it coming when they were doing the bam, Biff, and then just, ow, my balls. <clears throat> but... Otherwise, it, it it barely it was really not there. Like there was barely any much of like good action in this. Mostly the fight at the end and the fight where they finally find uh, Ivy and Woodrow and the scientist they kidnap he they kidnapped for this. But you know that was kind of it. Like it was just kind of this thing where Batman and Har Batman and Harley Quinn were together and on an adventure and barely goes anywhere and it ends barely after like they'd finally got to the good part <clears throat> um yeah i i really that's really much almost all i have to say about this it's not like the teen titans the judas contract where it was kind of better than the comic it was based on and was actually pretty good um it was certainly nowhere near as good as justice league dark for me i love that movie that movie was really great even if they really didn't need Batman in it. Um, but yeah, I I just... I really can't recommend this. <clears throat> like, I had... There's moments I liked and I was really excited for it. 
but it doesn't it really doesn't live up to like my expectations for it especially when it's trying to be like batman the animated series i know what batman the animated series is like i i really i really I, you know i was really disappointed by this and especially just because it kind of feels like bruce tim was just like well we need to kind of make filler until batman versus two-face uh the sequel to the the first uh adam west batman movie they made comes out and you know and also we need something so that we can <clears throat> use whatever budget we have left over after doing the batman Ga uh, gotham by gaslight film you know instead of being this great celebration of the the animated series it just kind of feels like a flop you know i i it makes batman mystery the batwoman look way better by comparison <laughs> I find that movie to be the weakest of the original animated series films. But yeah, I just you know, and maybe you'll like it more than me if you if you know that it's just kind of a silly like cartoon. You know, maybe you're just like, well, it's just kind of, you know, this adventure as told by Harley. And maybe you will. Maybe you will. I I certainly got did not get what I wanted out of it. But maybe you'll get something out of it. Um, but otherwise, I, I rank it really like a D or a C. Like, I did have some enjoyment, but I, like, a D or a C minus. Because it's just, it just, it doesn't live up to, like, the pedigree it was trying to be, be of. <clears throat> um, but yeah. So there, there's my review of the, of, of the Batman and Harley Quinn movie. Um, I really can't recommend it, but, you know, if, if, if you... If you want to watch it, you know, I can't stop you, but <clears throat> I'd say, you know, maybe wait until it, it gets cheaper. Like, because I feel like this is going to end up being one of those ones where they eventually will go into the bargain bin. <sighs> but otherwise, you know, <clears throat> it is what it is. So, guys, that's my review of Batman and Harley Quinn, and I will see you when the next one comes out. Until then... <clears throat> Wait for me to finally finish the Garo vlogs. So until then, meet us back here again. Same bat time, same bat channel. Take care.